there, Toy here. So today I'm shooting a special video just for the B2B SciCon. This kind of goes along with my Countdown to Con Season series, but I'm so excited to share exactly what it is I will be contributing to the Brain to Book Cyber Convention. So let me, um, first of all, this cyber convention is um, multi-genre and it's broken up so that if there are certain things you don't want to see, you don't have to see, but if there's something specific you're looking for, they have it. So it's broken up, and if I don't get all the genres right now, I'll put them you know, in the video, but I'm pretty sure it's broken up by um, historical fiction, um, science fiction, um, fantasy romance, young adults, like mystery, thriller, crime, horror, memoir and there might be a couple of others so like it's literally broken up to where you can just get the stuff you want and if you want to try everything you can do that too now me I am a little you know different and there's a couple of authors that like me out there where I write in many genres so for this particular convention I am going to be featured as both a romance author and a fantasy author and the reason why that is is because um, if you look, kind of look at the work that I have, um, all the books that I have, I have like 12 by now, I'm not sure. I have to look at it. But um, my Eternal Curse series, which is my most popular series right now, it is a paranormal series. But the first book focuses on um, romance, a uh, story. So that is a paranormal romance. Even the second book in the series talks a lot about relationships and love and stuff like that. So that's where the romance element comes in. It's not a traditional romance, but it is a romance. So it's a paranormal romance. And then I've also done some, um, uh, some work under the pen name Glory Townsend. And that is contemporary fiction. It's romance. It's romantic comedy. So there you go. I have these two things that put me directly into the line of romance. So I will be featured as a romance author. But I will also be featured as a fantasy author because, again, my paranormal series has lots of fantasy elements in it. And um, a lot of paranormal stories are like that. They have a lot of fantasy elements in it. So that ties up with that. A lot of the, sh um, some of the short fiction that I've written has a lot of fantasy in it. And a book that I'm going to be promoting that I'm hoping to release by the end of April I'm not holding my breath if I don't. Um, I'm perfectly happily, you know, releasing it in May or June. But regardless, I am going to be promoting it during this. So that is why I will be represented by both the fantasy and romance genres. So I'm going to real quickly show you the main three books that I'm going to be promoting. I mean, I'm going to be promoting all of my stuff, but it's easier to just kind of concentrate on three things because those three things will hopefully pull people into some of the other stuff that I have. So first, I'm going to be promoting Eternal Curse, Giovanni's Angel. That is the first book in the Eternal Curse series. And anyone interested in this will have an opportunity to learn about the second book. I have a rewrite that I'm working on that's coming up, you know, but it, you know, it's fine as it is now. And so I'll be promoting this heavily under both the um, fantasy um, genre and the romance genre. I will also be promoting it's like the full moon. This is my romantic comedy. Um, I released it under the pen name Lori Townsend, and um, I am working on the sequel to it. But you know, um, no, I released this in 2016. The sequel might come out at the end of 2017. That's my you know plan. But if it again, if it doesn't work, no big deal. I'm releasing stuff all the time, so I'm not one of those authors that feels like I have to release something in a series every year. Um, but you don't want to wait too long. So anyway, I'll be promoting It's Like the Full Moon um, under romance. And then also I was able to just, you know, promote something else. And I'm not heavily promoting this, but I will be promoting Chip and Skip Need Each Other. It's one of four educational children's books that I've written, uh, specifically for like first grade and below or um, I was inspired by the special needs students that I work with. So I'm going to be just kind of promoting this a little bit, at least just putting it out there for people to see. And hopefully this will draw them into some of my other children's books. 
But yeah, so that's what I'm going to be featuring in the B2B Psycon. So um, I'm actually going to go through a list of some of the events that I'm going to be doing. And the reason why I'm doing I'm doing this for two reasons. One, just to give you an idea of the type of things that will be happening at the B2B Psycon. This is just some of it. But this will just let you know whether or not it's, you know, something that you could get into and check out. And it, because it's an online event, you don't have to do everything, but you could. You know, it's a three-day event, and, you know, because it's online, even once the event is over, you may not have that live feel where, you know, people are responding and chatting and everything, but you can always go back later and look at some of this stuff. So here are just some... Uh, well, I think this is pretty much all of the stuff that I'm doing with the event. So there will be a book expo. Every good convention has to have a you know an expo. If you go to book fair, there's an expo there. So um, it's you know it's virtual. You're gonna go on. You're gonna see all the like the main books that are being featured, and the three books that I just showed you will be featured in the book expo. Um, then there's the author showcase. Uh, oh, and the book expo will be on the main. Um, B2B Psycon website and I'll include links below and then I'll also be doing the author showcase that's pretty much you know if, if you're at a con or event or something like that and you're walking around and each author has a table it's their booth so this is my booth and it will be at um, Goodreads so if you're not on Goodreads now is a really good time to you know jump on you know Goodreads is free it doesn't cost you anything it's a wonderful way to um, if you're if you're like you know some of the people that I know who they've always wanted to kind of get into books and reading they just don't really have the time and stuff like that Goodreads is a great you know um, site to join because um, there's people who read a hundred books a year not me and then there are people who read one or two books a year there is some group for everyone and you can really, you know, discover and find out things about books before you read them if that's something that you're always worried about. People are worried about investing time into a book and then it not be fulfilling to them. So you can do a lot of research on books on Goodreads. So my um, booth, my author showcase will be on Goodreads. And then this next feature I think is really cool is story time. And this is where someone who um, speaks a lot more professionally than I do We'll actually be reading excerpts um, from the different, you know, authors that are in books that are being featured on the convention. And what's really good about that is, is for those people who love audiobooks, it's going to kind of sound like that. Um, not, you know, exactly, but it, you're going to be getting this sample um, from the book that's going to be read to you in a very eloquent way. And it's it's got some sheer entertainment value for itself, but it gives you an insight into the story and you know to see if you want to read more. Um, I'm also one of the contributing authors to an anthology that the um, Psycon is putting together. They figured if they're going to do this whole event why not you know create something out of it instead of just promoting people and I thought that was a great idea. So I'm one of the contributing authors and I believe the anthology is entitled Book Dreams and um, the story that I'm featuring is um, from the inside and I can't remember if I've done a reading from that yet if I haven't it'll be down the road at some point um, but yeah in the anthology will be featuring of course other authors as well so you're going to get a nice little sampling of, of stuff um, another cool event that they're doing is a blog hop and the I guess the, what the blog hop will do is for people who are really you know heavily into the baller community community it'll give them a chance to sample a bunch of different authors at one time just right down the line and the way they have it set up it's so you know it's so streamlined like you won't have to like click here and then go over here and find a link or go it li literally once you start you'll just go straight down the line and it's done by genre so that's even better you know um, so, you know, anyway, the blog hop is there and I don't can't speak for everyone else, but I know that in my feature for the blog hop, I'm giving a lot of like video clips. Um, I am giving some reading samples because I mean, we are talking about, you know, books and reading here, but I thought it would be good to, you know, give people a little bit more than just, you know, reading samples and stuff. I'm actually featuring um, some games, like if you've ever played like some of the games about Huffington Post, things like that, or like the little trivia. So I'm featuring some stuff like that. So I've got some good content out there to keep you entertained. 
The next cool thing that I'm doing, if you happen to stop by my author showcase on Goodreads or stop by the blog hop, which will bring you to my blog, you will have a chance to grab my grab bag. And the grab bag is, um, it's a free item. Now, the, what I'm offering is actually a digital item because I thought it would be easier that way. I always, sometimes, not always, sometimes feel bad about offering um, physical items to my U.S. fans and then sending something digital to the international people. But I mean, you know, when you're in India, you got to watch those dollars. So I just decided to do just one digital package. And again, this is not just me giving, you know, a story for free. There's some other stuff in there, some printables, some downloadable things. So it's a really cool grab bag, and I'm not the only one giving away a grab bag. So if you're interested, please check it out. Um, I'm also going to be participating in a virtual genre tour, and I will be participating in the fantasy genre tour. And I forgot to mention earlier that my author showcase, my booth, will be listed under romance. So anyway, so my um, genre tour will be for fantasy. And that's where I will just be the what's so great about the um the genre the genre tours is they're not all about promotion. I know a lot of people think, well, I'm just gonna go and people are gonna be trying to get me to buy their books and stuff and well, you know, it's it's a convention, we wanna sell our books. But the genre tour is really cool because I know that like a lot of people are just talking about why they love the genre and they're sharing, you know, cute images and videos and things like that. And yeah, there'll be some book promotion, but like I know I'm I'm really talking about why I like fantasy so much and I'm sharing some of my Pinterest boards and things like that and I am sharing a book trailer but there's not a sales link to it or anything it's just a cool visual that I thought would be nice to share and then I'm participating in a scavenger hunt um, and it, this is for the fantasy group so if you like fantasy or even if you don't like fantasy just check out the scavenger hunt it's pretty cool the way they've done it I'm really excited about it and there are some prizes to be won if you get through the scavenger hunt um this icon is so amazing it's just like attending a live event but like I said it's online show up in your pajamas or in the nude whatever floats your boat there are also panel discussions um, I had actually signed up for a whole bunch of them, but life happened and I only made it to one. But I'm so excited to be on that one panel. So if you get a chance to check out some of the panels, they're great. I believe the one that I actually contributed to was a whole book panel on book covers. And you might be like, sounds kind of boring. But not really when you think about it, because even though we're talking about book covers, we're talking about what book covers we like, which ones we don't like, what works, what doesn't work, you know, original book covers that later got changed. I mean, we're talking about all kinds of stuff. You should really check it out. And the last thing that I'm going to be doing is a um, Facebook takeover event specifically for the romance genre. And I'm going to be heavily promoting that because that's where I'm going to be posting samples, um, actual excerpts of my work. Aside from the story time where someone's going to be reading, um, that's that's really the only other place where I'm going to be posting my um, samples of my work. So those are the events that me, that, that, that's, that's what I'm contributing to. And I'm just one author. And there are hundreds of authors participating in this event. And the creativity that, you know, all of us share. I mean, we create things, we produce them, we put them out there on our own. We're self-published people. So what we're able to offer you, it's it's amazing. We, we've got video content, we've got um, written content, we've got games, all kinds of stuff. And I just hope you will check it out. I'm gonna leave links below. And please come out to the B2B SciCon. It's April 7th, 8th, and 9th, and you will be so glad you did. Bye for now.